In the Glades, football is gospel. We're one of the greatest football communities in America. Being out here where we don't have that much, it's the one thing where they can come together and feel that they have something that nobody can take away from them. Yo, what's up? My name is Anton Smith. People in Pokey, they call me Deuce. I play football, high school football. Football is my whole life. That's how it is out in the glades, man. Yeah, they this is Buck Bowl, baby. Yeah. It's about time. What time? time. Let's, Let's get, get busy. busy. Yeah. It's about time. What time? Let's get busy. Yeah. Yeah. I've been dreaming about the NFL for the longest I can remember. A lot of guys do. But football, it's a ticket out of here. Anton Smith was a coach's dream. Okay, and there's nobody that works harder than Anton on and off the field. And he just has a heart of a line. The, the kid knows no fear. And he, and he has no quit in it. Ricky Jackson, you know, uh, Lewis Oliver, Jesse Hester, Fred Taylor, you know, who's still playing for the Jaguars, uh, Andre Waters, uh, Anquan Bolden, who was Rookie of the Year for the Cardinals a couple years ago, came out of Pahokee. And here's these small little communities that have produced like these, I mean, not only good football players, but darn, uh, I mean, excellent ones who have gone on to the NFL. And I think that in itself, you know, uh, speaks volumes for exactly not only how important football is in this area, but uh, how good it is too, you know, so. All guys, I guess when you play ball, you just envision yourself wearing, you know, one of those NFL uniforms and those helmets. There wasn't anything like organized when I was coming up. We didn't have Pop Warner in these football leagues the way they had. We just pick up a piece of paper, a tennis ball, and just play football. You know, you get 10 guys over there, 10 guys over there, throw it down and, you know, no passes, just all running and tackling. You know, so, you know, and with that, I think that's kind of like breathes a lot of athleticism. You know, the guys get a little tough because we didn't really have marked off fields. You know, you get hit, you may get hit into the fence. You may get hit into a sand pit, anything, but that's what we did. In recent years, over the last 30 or so years, sugarcane, as you see here, has become the dominant crop in the area. Oh, we have uh, over 300,000 acres of sugarcane in this area now. I believe there's more sugarcane here than any other place in the United States. There was a quote in one of the local papers here from uh, the head of the Belglade Job Service Agency for the state, and he was asked with welfare reform people were going to have to find employment, and he characterized employment in the Glades is in this way. We have two sets of jobs. You either pick it or you guard it. You're either working for a prison or you pick vegetables. Those are the only two jobs here. So if you're a young person in Belglade and you're looking for opportunities there, you're not going to find them. Unfortunately, Glade Central was a, was a two-time F school, and um, there was a change in the administration, and um, a new principal came in who wanted to, in essence, her, her, her plan was to de-emphasize athletics. We are on our way for AA, and you all know what AA is. We're going to be A with the state in academics and athletics. The approach that she used uh, kind of ticked off a few people, but now she's gone. You know, she only she lasted there a couple of years, and uh, 
But, uh, you know, that's just one indication of how serious they do take, um, you know, high school football. Good morning to you, South Florida. The time now is 1127, and it's Mug Bowl Friday. I'm Harvey J. It's South Florida's gospel leader, the only place that you will be able to catch the Mug Bowl live tonight. Free game at 715, the big game, South Florida, between the Blue Devils of Pahokee, the Raiders of Glade Central. Both teams undefeated, both teams phenomenal talents, and we are looking forward to great football this evening right here over WSWN Sugar 900, where in 18 South Florida counties, only sunshine covers more homes. Mug Bowl is like the Super Bowl. Biggest game, respect, everything, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that serious football I play in other places in this country. But here in the Glades, it's a way of life. But one thing says it all, the mug bowl. The mug bowl. It's like the Super Bowl. And I want to win this year.